20th card, turn it over. <laughs> this is insane. My name's Craig Petty, and this is Forecast. Forecast is the ultimate playing card prediction system. You look so confused, I, Chloe. There's <laughs> no logical explanation. Let's just go with magic. <laughs> Magicians love predicting the future. Well, guess what? You're going to be able to learn some of my favorite prediction routines as part of this project. But at its core, this is a project all about the memorized deck. We're going to give you the tools. We're going to give you the gimmicks. We're going to give you the knowledge you need to make sure that you finally memorize a deck of cards. And let me tell you how we're going to do it. We've broken it down step by step. In other words, we've made the learning curve gradual instead of ridiculously steep. And along the way, you learn everything that you need to perform nine killer routines from my personal working set. You could have gone in a completely different direction, but you ended up on the jack of clubs at position number 36. That's the 36th card right there. You're going to turn it onto this pack in three seconds, face up. One, two, three. And there it is, the jack of clubs at position number 36. Boom, there you go. The first three routines are completely self-working. You can literally just do these routines immediately with no memory work whatsoever, and they are killer. And what these routines do is they give you a start. They give you confidence to go out there and start working a mem deck in the real world without worrying that you're gonna slip up. Then I teach you three more routines. And these use a very special gimmick that allows you to memorize a deck in real time in front of the audience. It means that you can perform routines using a mem deck, but you don't have to worry about knowing what the order of the cards are. So as you start learning the deck, and as you start memorizing the deck, you've got this gimmick with you to help you. And then finally, we go for the icing on the cake. Three routines out of my professional set that I have used to slay audiences up and down the country. You have on this project some of the best ways I've ever found to predict a playing card, predict a series of playing cards, predict an order of playing cards. I'm even going to teach you how to predict how the spectator wants you to find the card before they've even told you. Like this is insane. There's thousands of different magic tricks, like thousands of different ways to find a person's card. But we're going to try and do something kind of uh, a little bit weird here. So I've got a, um, a pack of cards. There's 52 cards here. Uh, they're all there. They're all different. We'll take the joker out. So 52 cards. I'm going to try and do something with these cards. In a second, I'm going to have you name a card. And you can name any card you want to, Kieran. It's completely your choice. I'm going to put the deck over there, OK? Before you do name a card, I should point out to you that I've got a very special pack of cards here. And they're not really playing cards because they're blank. These are what cards look like before they're printed. Um, they're just blank cards, okay? But what's interesting about these cards is not what's on the backs, it's what's on the other side. You see, what I did is on the other side of each card, and hopefully if I turn it this way you can see, what I did is I wrote a different way to find someone's card. So you've got like, turn over the deck. You've got, wave your hand over the face of the deck, you know, magical stuff like that. Uh, we've got, spell the value of the card from the face. Um, spell the name of the card, cut the deck, turn over the card, spell the word lucky from the face, spell name it. The hardest part with this trick, turn over the top card and shake it. The hardest part of this trick, to be perfectly honest, was thinking 52 different ways to find someone's card, but I think I've nailed it. Now, I said you were going to name a card. I don't want you to pick one, because I don't want you to think I've made you pick one. I'm just getting you to name one. Which card would you name? Jack of Clubs. Now, would you like to change your mind? Because I don't want you saying later on, I made you pick the jack of clubs. If you want the jack of clubs, that's fine, my friend, but you can change if you want to. I'll, I'll change. What? I'll change. I'll go for the jack of spades. What? Jack of spades. Um, might have to do this again. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Don't have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have to do it again. That's absolutely fine. The, uh, the jack of spades, you're absolutely yes. fine with this, yep. yeah? Yep. Now, the reason I took the joker out, there is a reason I took the joker out, and the reason, very, very simply, is because we can use this joker to, to get one of these cards in this deck at random, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to riffle down through the deck. You just say stop anytime you want. Stop. 
Right there, are you sure? Yeah. And you know, like we did in the other trick, we're going to put the joker in at that point mm -hmm. to mark the position where you said stop. Sure. Is, uh, is that fair? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then what we're going to do, so it's this one right here, uh, we'll look at it. And it could have been any card, but we've got uh, spell Alakazam from the face. That's what you've ended up with, spell Alakazam from the face. I mean, this couldn't possibly work because each one of these is different, like completely different. But you ended up stopping on spell Alakazam from the face of the deck. So I'm going to take the deck, I'm going to spell Alakazam. So let's see if this works. A, L, what was your card again? Jack, Jack of Spades, Spades, wasn't it? So A, L, A, K, A, Z, A, A M. And look at that <laughs> right there. Spelling Alakazam from the face is your Jack of Spades. Any other card and it wouldn't have worked. How did you do that? That's a miracle. I say that because I changed my mind just to be annoying. Just to be annoying. You yeah. change, if you'd done the Jack of Clubs, it wouldn't have worked. If you'd stopped on a different thing, that wouldn't have worked. That's a miracle. I'm really thinking about that all day. Yeah, me I too. To I mean, if you figure it out, can you let me know? Because yeah. that's weird. Yeah, there's lots of places out there that you can actually learn a stack. But you have to go from learning a stack to actually going out in the real world and doing it. And let's be honest, that's kind of a nerve-wracking thing. I am so proud of working with the 1914 to finally bring people the project that they need so that they can finally start doing the mem deck in the real world. And by the way, if you are a mem deck user, there's going to be a lot of stuff in here that you want to plug into your app straight away. Guys, this is Forecast. This is the ultimate prediction system. This is the ultimate guide to memorizing a deck of cards. This is Forecast.